here's the thing about shame. Listening to shame can silence your healthcare options. I could keep my mouth shut and not say a thing, or I could tolerate the discomfort that comes with this conversation. Sure, I might feel ashamed in the short term, but this is really the only opportunity I'd have to learn what's actually going on and what my opportunities are to address it. When it comes to your health and your career, don't let shame prevent you from telling your story. If you don't think that you guys can make a difference, you're mistaken. It wasn't too long ago that I was an unemployed, opioid addicted anesthesia provider, and Claudia was the codependent and enabling nurse that let this happen. And if we can make changes and get back into this, all of you guys have a power within you that you may not even know that you have. While we are in the midst of a burnout epidemic, I think the timing is right for the pendulum to swing in the opposite direction. And we can start by developing individual coping strategies for stress. Meditation, exercise, meaningful relationships, and giving these coping mechanisms the same attention we would other anesthesia skills. You never know who you're gonna be a role model for. Just thinking about that somebody in the environment could see me speaking up and then be more empowered themselves to speak up was a very empowering like frame of mind to have for me. The truth is if we're gonna solve healthcare's greatest challenges, we need to be engaging with nurses because they're the end users of nearly every medical product on the market. They also are closest to the patient. Who you are is going to make the best of what healthcare is going to become. And we need to go back to the fundamental principles that Florence Nightingale instilled in the practice of nursing, which is we are there to protect the patients, to be there to drive forward healthcare, and that the true heart of nursing is in innovating, challenging the status quo, and making things happen. Changing the healthcare industry to really value clinician well-being is not going to be easy, and it's not going to be popular. But like art would do, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do for us, it's the right thing to do for our patients, and it's definitely the right thing to do for future CRNAs and their future patients.